welcome today to this episode of Bella and the Babe. It's becoming almost like Bella and the Babe TV. I almost talk to you all every single day practically about some topic related to self-care, self-love, motherhood, and mindfulness. That's kind of where um, I get my jam and I really enjoy talking about it. Today I am coming on specifically to talk about um, really the Wendy Williams um, announcement about Gray's disease and what that has to do with us as mothers, right? Like what you're thinking, what does that have to do with us? But before I do that, I wanna quickly go ahead and share this video out. I wanna share it to make sure that the mamas in my Mindful Mama community right here on Facebook have access to this, right? That they are, that they are able to see this video. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. Um, yes, so if you're tuning in right now, you're tuning in because you want to understand what the heck does Wendy Williams's recent announcement about her Graves disease have to do with me as a mother, has to do with me um, as a woman, right? And this whole idea of doing it all. So hello, welcome. My name is Brooke Sydney. My company is called Bella and the Babe, which is all about empowering authentic and mindful motherhood. And essentially what I do is I help tired and guilt-ridden moms get free of mama guilt, find more time for self-care, and love the lives they're currently living. So basically why I wanted to get on today is I wanted to really talk to you about the Wendy Williams announcement. And I am by no means an expert on Wendy Williams. Let me get that out of the way. And what we can all learn from her um, announcement as well as other messages that she has shared right because sometimes we don't get it when it comes from like just me <laughs> just me um just the other mama on the street but when we can hear um certain messages sometimes um echoing in our cultural chamber then maybe just maybe um people will start to listen and my hope is that mamas start taking better care of themselves that's really my goal for today so I don't know if you guys follow Wendy Williams. She's a major like talk show host. She has her own show. She's been in radio. She's been doing the darn thing for, shoot, I don't even know, 20 plus years, I would imagine. I myself am not a big Wendy Williams follower. Um, I'm all for women doing their thing though. So, hey, go get them, Wendy Williams. I Just for me, I just don't watch a lot of television and I definitely don't really watch gossipy. Um, television, but that is me. I still think there's a place and a time and I'm all about her getting her coin and getting that bag. Okay. So um, with that being said, she does a lot of things, right? Like she has a very big following. She um, is very visible, right? She has her own TV show. She's got a lot of demands on her time, but she also has a family. She has a husband. She has, I think at least one kid, right? So she is definitely a mama, a mamapreneur, um, a mama business leader. She is doing it, right? So I think over the past couple of weeks, she's been passing out. She has been fainting. And um, I think she's known, but, uh, known about her disease or her illness, but she has decided to reveal it most recently, right? Like, so she has announced that she has Graves disease, which is this autoimmune disease. I am not a doctor. I am a lawyer and a self-love guide for mamas, right? I That is not my field. But the point um, that I wanna really make today with her story and what she shared in the past is that she came on to a CNN Money interview. This was in the past, this wasn't recent, where she shared that women can't do it all, right? Women can't do it all. And I have been talking about this for, I don't know, years now. I think that, us as mamas and us as women, especially I would say like Gen X millennials on down, we were fed the story that we can do it all, that we can have the career, we can have the family, we can have this amazing legacy, like we can do it all, right? We can cook, clean, take care of the kids, go to work every day, smash it out there, you know, rock, be a rock star there. Um, then have all these other extracurricular activities, run um, a nonprofit, give back in a community, be a philanthropist, like, you know what I'm saying? Like do it all, lead the 
parent, teacher, you know, everything, right? But yet be at home in the kitchen, serving it up in the bedroom. I'm just being real. Like all of these things are the messages that we are taught that we are supposed to be as super women. And quite frankly, there is men in society that is buying into it. And if you don't know or are not willing to admit, it is freaking hype. It is not the truth. I have so many people that come and ask me, okay, I want to get better at self-care. I want to do, I want some more time. My health is suffering. Take the Wendy Williams example. My life is suffering. Um, I'm not doing well at work. I'm not doing well as a mother, right? Because I'm trying to do it all. And I'm here to tell you, just like I tell my clients, just like I talk about on any platform that I have, be it podcasts that I'm interviewed for, any, anything that I have to talk about as it relates to this quote unquote balance, it doesn't exist. Balance does not exist. Prioritization exists. Making time for the things that are important to you exist. That is, that is the key, right? Something is going to fall to the floor. And as Wendy Williams says, something is going to suck. You cannot, I hate to break it to you, do it all, all the time, and everything goes swell. So the key, right, there's a key here, there's a reason I'm telling you this, is that we have to start figuring out what is important to us and not compromising our health. And the way that we figure out what is important to us is to spend more time with ourselves, with spirit, whatever that works for you, in meditation, in prayer, in, you know, some centering activity for you to get quiet and take care of yourself, right? It is anti-cultural to slow down. It's anti-cultural to say, I can't do it all. I'm not the superwoman, right? It's anti-cultural to say, I need help. It is almost as if, you know, I'm like, I should whisper it and say, you have permission. You have permission to ask for help and to spend time taking care of you, mama, you woman out there, you amazing being. Because the truth is that if you don't take care of yourself, there's going to be a health scare. I hate to put it that way, but it is the truth. There's going to be a health scare. There's going to be a some scare, right? There's going to be something that happens that's going to wake you up, if not now, later. Why wait till later? Let's start taking care of ourselves now. Let's start being honest about our lives now. Let's start reconnecting with ourselves so that we can prioritize and live the lives that we want to live and live them out loud. I'm all about creating. I'm not, I'm not bullshitting. I'm all about creating a tribe of empowered and mindful women that are, that are not afraid to live this life out loud, that are not afraid to say, I take time for myself so that I can be my best self for myself and for my kids and for my spouse and for my lover and for everyone that I interact with every single day. And I'm okay with it. And not only am I okay with it, I am great with it. And I want you to do the same, right? Because that's how we connect with our power. That's how we connect with our strength. That's how we stay healthy. That's how we stay tuned in to our greater power, whatever that is for you. So I am encouraging you, I'm inviting you to spend some time figuring out what works for you, to spend some time being quiet, to spend some time really evaluating what your priorities are, to look back over 2017 in this first month and a half of 2018 and see how well is that working for you? Are there areas of your life that could be working better? Is there joy in areas of your life that you're leaving on the table? Could your health be better, right? Could your relationships be better? And more importantly, could your connection with yourself be improved? If you answer yes to any of those things, let's work on it. Let's get it together, right? Let's work on our self-care. Let's work on our mindfulness. Let's 
begin to make strides in these areas so that we can improve our 2018 and leave a legacy when we're ready to go, right? Not because we didn't take care of business. And by taking care of business, I mean taking care of ourselves. So if you want to learn more about mindfulness and self-care for mothers, I have a free group. I have a free community. Jump on into it. And for those of you that right now that know that you want to make a serious commitment, meaning you want to work on it on a monthly basis, join my Mindful Mama membership circle where every month you get a lesson, you get an affirmation, you get a guided meditation from me, um, you get additional tools, worksheets, workbooks, journaling prompts, whatever is needed to hone in that particular message around self-care or mindfulness. I'd love for you to join me. We have founding member benefits and a founding reoccurring rate that will go away, that will go away soon. So definitely the links are in, um, the links are here. I invite you to join me and I would love to hear how your 2018 is going and what you think about this Wendy Williams thing, about what I feel like is the expose, which I have been preaching for I don't know how long and talking about that we can't do it all and the superwoman idea is a freaking myth and it's only hurting us as women. The longer that we perpetuate this, that doing it all equivalence is the equivalent of being a superwoman, we're only hurting ourselves. We're already freaking super women. And the moment that we figure that out and take care of ourselves, we're even greater because our powers are strengthened. So I invite you again, check out my free Mindful Mama, my Mindful Mama group, join my email list, get connected. Or for those of you that are more serious and know that you want to take concerted efforts to really um, get in touch with yourself, and love this motherhood journey that we are so privileged to be on, join my membership circle. Thank you so much. Like and share this video. Talk to you soon.